Glenn, you have to admit, as a San Diego State guy, it's awkward when your president's like, yeah, the... Uh, we we should get the pro rata that we deserve. Like, what are you talking what about, dude? What does that mean? Dude? What, what, what do what you mean, mean, dude? I don't even hate San Diego State. I I'm, don't either. I'm a huge. I'm actually a huge fan of San Diego, San Diego, San Diego State, San Diego University, La Jolla, Cafe the Coyote, the Honeys in Old Town. I'm a mm. huge fan. I'm not a fan of JD Wicker like pandering, because now you begged your way into the Pac-12 that might not exist. Nice job, dude. That's my only criticism. If I knew what I was going to fucking do, I'd have already fucking done it. And your third baseman in softball celebrates for like farting while she's warming up. Like, I... when is parade? Yeah, when's the parade? In... When is parade? That is Nikola Jokic saying, "When is parade?" When is parade? I when need... is parade? I need to go home. I need to go home. When is parade? No. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> you know. Uh, Glenn says it's getting personal with you guys now. That basketball comment, but it, but it's how would it, Glenn? Explain it. How did San Diego State build their national championship game worthy <laughs> basketball team? It's not like they were recruited a bunch of high school kids and developed them and transfer portal. And there's nothing, no shame in that. There's no shame in that. How is that at all criticizing? Dude, them? the reality of the situation is, is the blue bloods are light on talent because everyone's chasing nil money. That's the reality of it. The The reality is the Kentucky, North Carolina missed the tournament after winning the championship last year. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a, 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 a slight on San Diego I State no at all. I have no issue with San Diego State, dude. But, but if, listen, Glenn, you, you can't, you can't turn a blind eye here, man. Your, your team has no business being in the national championship game of college basketball. And that's not outlandish to say. Now, at least not until now. Like, again, once every how long? And I'm telling you, I would love it if it was, hey, we developed a program and everything's amazing. It's not like you had anybody's best player. You had a team of gritty ass guys who got after it and played real physical basketball at the college level. I respect that. In yeah, fact, I was rooting wrong for it. them. I was rooting for them. I, I don't want to see UConn win uh, anything. I, I'm not a UConn guy, dude. Like, how many times is, you know, uh, Gino going to win another championship, bro? Like, how many times is, is you know, UConn's men, men's basketball going to be good? Right? Like, they're always good. Cool. I, I, I didn't want to see them win anything. Man, but nobody's... But there's no getting around the idea that NIL and the transfer portal makes it difficult to keep talent. You are going to have to pay to have a great roster now. It's no longer, hey, it's John Calipari at Kentucky, right? It's Coach K at Duke. It's Roy Williams at UNC. Those days are over, bro. It's about cash and checks as the joke is going on in the comments. That's what it's about. So it's not personal when I say, hey, you had no business being in the national championship game, in my opinion. It's the reality of college basketball. Yeah, and, and I think when you look at a guy like Zuby Ejafor, who's visiting you from Kansas, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. Like, it's not a slight. It's the re the thing, the, Glenn, the only thing that bothers me, the only thing that bothers me about San Diego State is J.D. Wicker with that comment to Seth Davis and, and your president saying that, like, you deserve a pro rata. What pro rata and what do you mean you deserve the pro rata? Yeah. You have not been a, a relevance, a strong word. You have not been a nationally competitive football program on a regular basis, probably ever in the modern era of college football, right? You're not. And I jokingly said it was a baseball school. San Diego state has a good athletic program. Yeah, they do. It's, it's not like, it's not, it, it, I just don't understand why, wh why is it taboo to say, hey, you built your basketball team on the transfer portal? Kentucky, North Carolina, like look at Arizona State, Bobby Hurt. Do you guys understand that Bobby Hurley had, a year ago, had one player on his roster? What, I said, what, he had one player on, on the roster, under scholarship, one player last year. Everybody else transferred. That's the reality of college athletics. And specifically basketball, 
in my opinion, it's the great it's the great leveling of the playing field. Mm-hmm. When somebody like San Diego State, who's not known as a basketball school, goes to the national championship game. And by the way, think about the financial impact that had on the Mountain West Conference. Huge. Yeah, so just one year out of the blue, Huge. you happen to go to the national championship game. Don't tell me. Huge. Don't, don't cry me a river uh, about... Oh, well, you guys are making it personal with San Diego State. No, I'm not making it personal with San Diego State. I'm I'm making it personal with the idea that San Diego State goes to one national championship game after building the roster through the transfer portal. And and my take is that you're not a basketball school. You're a football school, if anything. That's That's what I feel like you've been known for before this amazing run in basketball that you had. So don't come in here and tell me that I'm making it personal with San Diego State. I'm saying, hey, NIL combined with the transfer portal in basketball has made it so programs like San Diego State can get to the national championship game once in a while. And but I look think- at but look at a guy like Darian Trammell. Mm-hmm. Do you go to the Do you go to the NCAA tournament without him? Well, you probably don't. Do you, Do you? Do you damn near win the national championship without him? Well, you don't. And he's a guy who's a senior who transferred into San Diego State for last season. You, one of your most important players. Yeah. It, why? That's not even taboo, guy. Yeah. I don't know why we're defending our take on San Diego State. Because people get all shitty about it when you say <laughs> things like, hey, they had no business being in the national championship game. Yeah. They don't gen like they don't have any business being in the national championship game of college basketball. And that's why they haven't been. That's why it's once in a while, once every, I don't know, lately, re- like in r- modern history, once every 10 years. Yeah. Like, and it, it, and like, you're, you're, I think the Kashad Johnsons of the world or, like your your player that's a fourth year senior who's been there though that's so rare yeah and that's what you want because that's called playing the system yeah I, I don't think it's an insult at all anyway we should probably you know I just would love for <laughs> someone like Glenn and Glenn I'm not trying to make it personal with you but I would love for you to come to the middle Kyle J says Jake hates everything it's okay San Diego State do you hate everything I don't hate everything but I'm not giving San Diego State a free pass. I'm not. And it's okay. What we should be talking about, Glenn, is we should be talking about the fact that, hey, yeah, you know what? We didn't have a chance at the national championship game in college basketball, but because of NIL and the transfer portal, we were able to leverage that, and we got there. And that's a great thing. uh, I think that's not what we should be talking about. We should be talking about tridaytrading.com slash Monty because that's how you make the most money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, (laughs) It's... Come on, that was amazing. It was good. Tridaytrading.com. Uh, I'm telling you guys, it is the best side hustle. I was talking to, to a guy last night on DM. I don't know if I should say people's names that I was talking to, but he was telling me, hey, I, you know, I started doing Amazon FBA because you guys told me it was great. And he's losing like 70 bucks a month. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which A, I... I don't know why you would keep doing that side hustle because I think Amazon FBA is the perfect example of a side hustle where somebody else controls your income Mm -hmm. because Amazon changes fees and price points and you have to qualify for categories and it's a pain in the ass. Do the easy route. Take the easy route. Tridaytrading.com. And when you think about what Triday Trading is, Tridaytrading.com is anything you want it to be because you work for yourself. So you can do it full-time. Okay, quit your job. Hate your boss, tired of going into work, quit your job. Tridaytrading.com. Work from home, work for yourself. You love your job, but you'd like to make more money. Tridaytrading.com. Do it as a side hustle. Make sure, hey, you get up first thing in the morning and spend an hour working on your day trade, setting up your system, and great. You're going to make hundreds of dollars a day doing that. People routinely make hundreds of dollars a day at Tridaytrading.com because they went through their program. And now the best part is you can automate your trades and they teach you how with their proprietary systems and their proprietary algorithms. And by the way, the best part of it is you can try this out for 10 bucks, 30 day membership. That's all we're asking you to do. Don't take my word for it. And I always tell you this, 
Try it out for 10 bucks. It's a charitable donation that you can use as a tax write-off. You do a $10, 30-day $10, membership, and you get everything. Full coaching, full education, all of it. 30-day membership. Try it out right now. And if you're not happy with it, you don't continue. And you still get the tax write-off. But what you're going to find, just like everybody else, when you go into the TridayTrading.com system, you're going to love it. You're going to make thousands of dollars a day doing it full-time. You're going to make hundreds of dollars a day doing it part-time. And you can stop being pissed at your boss. You can stop hating on your neighbor because they went on vacation and you didn't. Live the life you've always wanted to live by going to TridayTrading.com. San Diego State says, Jake, stop it. Connor Tulin says, sup, Monty. Hi, Connor. Um, Tanner says, LOL, truck stop. Monty would rather chop off his right arm than give anything Star Wars character. I am your father. Truck Stop Gumby says, Monty, give his black shirt to Baby Yoda. <laughs> Probably could have. Uh, Adam Solomon, out of the Big 12 and Pac-12, only Kansas Tech and Baylor have done what San Diego State has since 2010. Multiple Sweet 16s, multiple 30-win seasons, and an appearance in the championship. Okay, but you really want to compare? Why are we doing this? You really think it's fair to compare San Diego State and the Mountain West to Kansas, Texas Tech, and Baylor. So Kansas or North Carolina two years ago, uh, Baylor, you really think that's a comparable pass to going through the Mountain West to what they had to go through in the ACC or the Big 12, which is inarguably the best conference in the country. They're not apples to apples comparison. What San Diego State did was nothing short of legendary. Nothing short of legendary. Now you need to do it all over again. And you're not going to be a fly under the radar. You're not going to be a secret anymore. Now everybody understands your offense. Everybody understands your system. Everybody understands your tendencies. Now we figure out who you really are. And hopefully San Diego State evolves and they actually win a championship. Because that would be a phenomenal finish for a great college. San Diego State's a lovely university. Mm -hmm. We have family and friends t by the tons who have graduated there. Great. It, it's not a slight in any way, shape, or form. You know, like it it, it just isn't. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see. Tom Dean. Question. Should San Diego State get a full pro rata? Just looking for an answer to an answer I haven't heard from you yet. But... I wish we could delete the term pro rata, bro. <laughs> uh, pro rat, do you guys understand that pro ratas are not readily available? I would love for someone to make the case as to why a G5 of any variety, San Diego State or otherwise, deserves a pro rata. Do you understand what a pro rata is? A pro rata essentially means ESPN or Fox is going to pay a full share for San Diego State, in this case, to join your conference in the Pac-12. So, and again, here's my issue with what was said at San Diego State, by San Diego State. Mm -hmm. Because I don't understand the logic in it. And if you do, please help me. You have the president saying, she said straight up that... The Pac-12 is her first choice, and she's confident that George Klyovkov is going to get a, a TV distribution deal that will allow the Pac-12 to pay San Diego State the pro rata they, uh, they deserve. Well, first of all, don't you have to get a TV deal that includes a pro rata first? All of a sudden, everybody and their brother thinks, well, shit, pro rata, that's in every deal. It's in one deal. One deal, the Big 12's deal. One deal. And by the way, it's not the entire deal. It's only ESPN's part of the deal. So it's not something that is even normal to have that kind of language in a contract. <coughs> it's not, it's not like way out of left field, but it's not boilerplate language. Yeah. So this idea that San Diego State A thinks that a pro rata is in every contract, it's not. But B, here's an interesting question for you. If you're ESPN, and let's just use ESPN as an example, anybody you want to point to, you do a deal with the Pac-12. Why would you pay? And let's say it's $32 million. 
What has San Diego State done to earn $32 million a year? Basketball ain't bringing that because football is king. And, and I'm just asking, looking at San Diego State's football numbers, somebody explain to me, what is it that San Diego State has done that says to you, well, man, we better pay them $32 million or we're screwed. Um, That's the simple question that San Diego State, and Glenn and I know 20 other San Diego State people who are crawling up my ass because I said, there's nobody bending over backwards to pay San Diego State $31.7 million to join the Big 12. Thanks. Because their value is to the Pac-12. Because the Pac-12 has nothing south of Berkeley. Otherwise their, known as they have a need. They, Their value, San Diego State's value, is not reach. It's not, it's not fourth time zone to the Big 12. Their value to the Big 12, frankly, is to cripple the Pac-12. That's your best value proposition, mm -hmm. right? Because does it, and this is the other question. Do you believe that San Diego State joins the Big 12 and goes back to the NCAA tournament? Is that a real question? Serious question. You put San Diego State basketball in the Big 12. Do they go to the NCAA tournament? The answer is no. They do not. But all not, the appearances. Now, next year, the, the second year, sure, because now you can transfer portal and you can operate. But they're not Gonzaga, who you can put in any conference, and because they recruit at an exceptionally high level, because they've won and won and won, and all they do is win, I can put them in the Big 12, and they will they will compete. They will go to the NCAA tournament their first year. But if we're talking about football, dudes, do you want to have a conversation about do you want to have a conversation about year over year records? And I don't think you do, dude. I I don't think you do because if you if you look at if you look at Ted Tolner, like Rocky Long. Like, I mean, you, you're, you've had a pretty mediocre run in football, right? And Brady's done a decent job, right? You lost to Middle Tennessee in the, in the Hawaii Bowl. You won the Frisco Bowl. You won the New Mexico Bowl. But when's the last time you, you had a major bowl, the Las Vegas Bowl in 2016 against Houston? You won 34 to 10. Okay, but... The Poinsettia Bowl in 2012 against BYU or Navy in 2010. Like you're 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 not a major college football program. Yeah. And if if you join the Big 12, do you make the NCAA tournament? So why am I gonna pay you $32 million right out of the gate? It's a great question, man. Help me. Yeah. Help Could me understand. It myself. Jimmy Otson says, it's funny that Monty and Jake are having the same conversations as chat, but saying the opposite things. Okay, well, so, hey, who wants to stand up? Glenn, you want to stand up and defend San Diego State? Let's do it. I'm happy I mean, to do it, man. That's the purpose of the show. I'm happy to do it, right? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm all about it. The question that I have is, if we're going to argue about San Diego State, let's fucking argue about it. What is the real value of San Diego State to the Big 12? Because, uh, frankly, I have talked to a million and one sources about this, and nobody's that excited to add San Diego State to the Big 12. Everybody in the Pac-12 views San Diego State as a must-have. As a must-have. Because you've lost Southern California to USC and UCLA and the Big 10. you got to have it. Because Southern California Toyota dealers have nowhere to spend their Pac-12 money. So they won't. They'll spend it in the Big Ten instead of spending it with you, which is a huge problem. So I, from that standpoint alone, I don't care if San Diego State wins another game. There's, there's real legitimate value in that. But if you're Oregon, and let's say, let's pretend, again, Pac-12 gets a TV deal. 
Yeah. It's $32 million. Okay. And you're Oregon. How much are you willing to, how much of that $32 million are you willing to allocate to San Diego State? Year one, new member. Because again, I know I'm dumb and I don't know shit about San Diego State. You can say that you get the pro rata you deserve, but how much of that money should we actually pay San Diego State? Mm-hmm. Because I'm telling you, a penny over $20 million is ridiculous. Which I think is another concept that nobody understands. Just because every school from the TV side is getting $32 million, let's say, doesn't mean that once that money comes to the conference that every school is getting $32 million. See? Here's another question I have. San Diego State. Adam says San Diego State brings Southern California recruiting to the Big 12. Pacific time zone, San Diego OC market. I would disagree with that. Because... Legitimate question. If you bring San Diego State into the Big 12, mm -hmm. again, how much pro rata, bro, uh, ESPN won't pay a full share for San Diego State, their G5 team, number one. Number two, do you really think that if you are the starting quarterback at Modern Day and you are capable of playing in the Big 12, or you're in Chula Vista or any high school you want to point to in Southern California, specifically San Diego. Do you really think that you're going to be like, well, shit, I can play in the Big 12. Why wouldn't you just play in the Big 10 at UCLA and USC? If you're, especially if you're at modern day, you're going to U USC anyway. So if, if you're at, I don't know. Pick your school, your power football program in Southern Westlake or Lake Forest or Capo or whoever. Let's talk baseball. You're the, you're the best starting pitcher at San Juan Capistrano or Huntington Beach High School or the best school in San Diego. Okay, I can see San Diego State, which is a phenomenal baseball school. I mean, fantastic. I can see you winning that battle. But if you're in Los Angeles, or if you're in Ventura County, or if you're in high desert, are you going to San Diego State so you can get in the Big 12? You're probably not. You're probably not. Because if you're a really good baseball player in Southern California, my guess is you'd want to play in the Big 10. My guess is, and, and let's just say the Pac-12 survives, I think you'd Pac-12 is a pretty good Baseball conference. Pretty good baseball conference. But you know how good baseball is like around the country? Like you're not going to San Diego State because it's... Now, football? Hey, if you're a Southern California kid and you're the third best linebacker on your team and San Diego State will write you an offer and you can play Big 12 football, absolutely, and you want to stay home so you can sleep in your own bed, totally get that. But San Diego State's going to have to ramp up recruiting and I, I, would, I would venture a guess that if the Pac-12 survives, San Diego State doesn't go to the Big 12 in any way, shape, or form. They want the Pac-12. Mm -hmm. So if the Pac-12 survives, okay, if the Pac-12 falls apart, you're not taking San Diego State because A, they don't give you a pro rata, and B, you're going to get seven, six, five teams out of five, six teams out of the Pac-12 that you want. Yeah. And I think San Diego State stays in the Mountain West because I think the Mountain West has a very legitimate chance to get Washington State at a minimum and probably Oregon State. Yeah. Depending on what happens with Oregon State. There's just not a lot of math that puts San Diego State in the Big 12. There's just, it doesn't add up. Like Pacific time zone, Gonzaga can give me the Pacific time zone. Arizona does not give me the Pacific time zone because they're always on fucking mountain time and I'm not having the argument. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys see what I'm saying. Um, Tanner says San Diego State is a basketball school, not a football school. They're a basketball. I don't even. I mean, they're a good basketball school now. No doubt about it. Ron Loney uh, says Hodad's Burgers in San Diego. Food in San Diego. My God. My just. Dude, if you gave me some Modelo. And a hundred dollars. I would be passed out on the street, like bloated from pinto beans. Rinse, please. I mean, yeah, <laughs> dude. 
It'd be over. It'd be over. Delaric says San Diego State at best is worth twenty million. Uh, more likely somewhere between thirteen and seventeen for the Big Twelve, and I don't think it's that much. I don't. And the other thing is, okay, so let's say they don't offer you the pro ready. Are you going to say no? So That's you- the real question. What it because I don't see is Apple going to be like, okay, well, yeah, uh, we'll pay you thirty million dollars hey a school, no matter who you enter. Okay, well, William and Mary, um, they're coming in the conference. No, I'm not comparing the two, but yeah, is San Diego State worth what Oregon's worth? No, but I don't think it's a fair comparison. But I think the president of San Diego State thinks it's a fair comparison. Yeah, well, when you use the language, the pro rata we deserve. Do you think day one you're walking into the Pac-12 and getting again thirty-two million dollars, for instance? Come on now. Uh, Gary says UCLA and USC bringing most of the market, not San Diego State. I don't disagree. Tom Dean, Monty, remember my $5 super chat that uh, rehashed old news? That's my pro rata comment, which rehashed old news was a joke about. Okay, good. Excellent, Tom. Excellent. Thank thank you. Thank you. Mark Hales, nobody is tuning the TV on to watch San Diego State. Well, I think the problem is, is that, you know, the, again, (laughs) I guess I'll just be the asshole today. The national championship viewership numbers show that. Today? Every day, right? Like, there's nope. no getting away from it, right? I mean, Jake, nobody likes you. Even great, I like me. Even San Diego State fan can't deny that the national championship <laughs> game viewership was not good. Oh and I'm not God. saying that's all your fault. That's on UConn too. But, but I'm just saying, like, you you can't like there are people in the chat right now trying to make the argument that San Diego State has returning starters and that would allow them to run through the Big Twelve. Mm. Mm, I don't think so, dude. Because I, I think you have to consider the fact that the Mountain West, while a solid conference, you can, it, it's not even in the same hemisphere. I believe it's on Pluto, the Mountain West, compared to the Big 12, which... I mean, you're talking about... Dudes, come on. Air Force and Wyoming, Colorado State. I got news for you, bro. Kansas is better than Colorado State. Like, come on. Yep. Uh, Taylor Gilstrap no, gives us two dollars. Just Gilstrap. Oh, I'm sorry, Gilstrap. Yeah. Um, Thank you. This is why politics need to stay out of sports. Maybe fix bigger problems first, Congress. Then he gives us two more dollars. Then he gives us five more dollars. Gilstrap. <laughs> Fuck over here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why? Why haven't any PAC members seriously considered a Big Twelve merger and forced that option to the table? Because I don't think... I don't know. That's a, it, I, I think it's a really leave. good question. They don't want to leave. Which I totally agree with. They don't want to leave. I totally they agree They will. With that. They don't want to. Uh, Jim Choi, how many times have San Diego State sell out the new stadium Snapdragon? I couldn't tell you, but it's brand new. I mean, they, they are... And look, Rocky Long... I want to make sure everybody understands. Like, Rocky Long's solid. I mean... I think he he's got like a 700 winning percentage. I mean, it, it, he's it, I mean, in the Mountain West, right? He was solid, and Brady Hope coming back has been okay. But Brady Hope's a 500 football coach. Yeah, Rocky Long was a good football coach, like a a, a really good football coach. And the hard part is, the hard part is, he went 10 and three in his last year there. Right, what was that, 2019? Like, if you're, okay, if you're a team that's, let's just let's just flip it on its head, just for conversation's sake. Let's say San Diego State's a bona fide P5 team, just chilling in the Mountain West. They're, mm-hmm. Everybody viewed them as a P5 team. Shouldn't you be a 9 or a 10 win team every single year in both in, in, in football, and then shouldn't you be an elite college yeah, basketball Rocky, team? Rocky won double-digit games four out of his five last year, and he won, I think, three Mountain West championships. Okay, so at that time then, San Diego State fan, I would have said, yeah, die on the hill. Die on the hill. 10, 11 wins in the Mountain West is probably seven in the Big 12 in football. And how many of those years was San Diego State ranked in the top 25? One, when they were ranked 25th. That's what I'm saying. It's not as easy as just. I think it's not as easy as just saying, "Oh, well, 
hey, you know, San Diego State's got all these appearances and winning records, and Kansas and Baylor have only like three winning seasons in the last 50. Yeah, because they're in the Big 12, dude. Uh, Roris. Jake be crushing the small man while simping for the ruling class oligarchs. What does that even mean? Okay. I mean... Like, what does that mean? Tanner Plummer. Jake, I usually like you, but your San Diego State take is crazy in my opinion. What? Okay. What's crazy about this? Is, okay, so Tanner, I'm going to I'm gonna call you out on this. What's crazy this about This is what you do. You say, hey, I think you're crazy. Why? Why? Explain it. Because I, I feel like... Me specifically, I feel mm -hmm. like I have a pretty strong, well-rounded argument as to why, A, you're not a P5. You don't deserve a pro rata. Don't fuck. <laughs> but B, uh, B, I don't think you would compete for a tournament appearance in the Big 12. No. And you for sure would not be a college football playoff team coming out of the Big 12. Not right out of the gate. No way. Not no right way, out of the gate. No way, dude. There's no way. There's no way. I think... I is it underselling San Diego State or is it massively underselling the depth and quality of the Big 12 Basketball Conference? Greg Hawkins, howdy. How the heck are you? Uh, let's see. Like, San Diego State at Rice-Eccles in November at night. Oof. San Diego State, uh, you know, in Stillwater. Come on, dude. Like, be realistic about this. Yeah. Uh, Cowboy Country, Big 12 and Pac-12 should make a deal. Should have. That's the Agreed. biggest mistake the Pac-12 ever made. Not being open about merging. And that's not on George Klyovkov, just so we're all clear. I think that, I would hope he took that back to the class, you know. Uh, Ron Loney says, Island Prime Restaurant in San Diego is amazing. The food in San Diego on its Bomb, own. Bomb, dude. Now, you want to talk about P5 food availability? Oh, my God. All day. All day. Uh, Jim Choi says uh, San Diego State had Don Coriel. John Coriel, bitches. Waves in opposition. Uh, <laughs> he didn't. Um, Don Coriel, 61 to 72, 12 seasons, 104 and 19 with two ties for an 840 win percentage. Good Lord. Yeah. Let's not forget Chuck Long. It was nine and twenty-seven, mm. you know. Because it's garbage. I kid. It, it, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It, you know. It. It just. It, to me, I. I just. Yeah. Like San Diego State's. San Diego State's good. It's. It's. We just get over the top with it. Uh, they are. Adam Solomon says they are winning. They have the highest win percentage in the nation in football and basketball since twenty ten. With G5 talent in a G5 conference. So that's the point, dude. What do you like? That's the point. Uh, Delaric says, I used, th I used to think Jake is crazy, but he has it right this time. Like, Adam, bro, I love you, dude. Literally, love that you're here, but you're making my point. It's a, against G5 talent. You can't just be like, oh, well, hey, hey it's you the blue turf. Oh, God. Settle down. Holy shit. Boise State was terrible <laughs> again this year. And we beat up on them? Who the hell knew? Who knew? Gary, Who knew? Uh, they weren't terrible. They were. They got off to a slow start. Gary says, saying San Diego State deserves P5 is like saying Long Beach University deserves a spot in G5. Exactly. I, <laughs> See, that's the where slap. are we at in society today? It's Long Beach State. Keep going down the ladder, Gary. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Keep going down the Long ladder, Beach man. Long Beach State. Brady Cook. Tanner, I would have to agree with Jake on this. Truth. Like Truth. I, I, I just don't, I, I, I understand if you're a San Diego State fan, why this is offensive to you. At the same time, though, at some point, you got to come to the middle on this. Yeah. Um, construction work in all caps. Because, Jake, if we use that logic, the Big 12 would have never added Houston, BYU, or UCF. BYU has a national championship. Yeah. Uh, Houston, um, and I know this is crazy, uh, Houston's one of the best college basketball teams in the country. Mm -hmm. um, and Houston delivers a pretty significant metropolitan market and gives the Big 12 significant control of the state of Texas. Which matters big which time. Which matters. Um, I would say Cincinnati. On to Cincinnati. You're right. I don't know why they added Cincinnati. Please, Bearcat fan, don't. 
Um, and UCF, I said it the other day, I think UCF's an awkward fit, but it, get, it does give it's you Florida. It's a play to be in Florida. That's it, 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 it dude. Give, it gives you Florida. Adam Solomon, uh, San Diego State beat Kansas at Kansas. Never got invited back. Probably never will. Probably never will. Uh, Big Daddy Magic. Jake has always been in the good graces of Big Daddy Magic. Well, do we need to talk about Victor Wambanyama? Scock. Do we need to? <laughs> I mean, are, are you kidding me right now? Like I, I don't I don't understand what like that'd be like that'd be like saying, Hey, you know, we're gonna go for chicken sandwiches and we're gonna go to Burger King when you should have gone to Super Chicks. Damn it. Transition. Uh Super Chicks, Riverdale Road in Ogden, also in uh the Jeezy, our good friends in St. George. Yeah, dude, Je- if you're in St. George, man, go out and find him, bro. Like Go out and find them. And our Jeezy army is strong. The guys in St. George, I love all of you guys, all our listeners down in St. George. Thanks so much for supporting the show. Uh, Go see our guys at Super Chicks in St. George. Tell them you heard about it on the Monty Show. Uh, Make sure you get the Bacavo if you want to be a jerk every day like Jake. Uh, It's his favorite sandwich. Bacavo's a P5, just so we're clear. No, it's a... it's it's And it deserves a pro rata. How? Yeah, I don't know how. Um, I, you know, I would tell you to get the court on blue, uh, bomb. or go ahead and, and, and did you just say it was bomb? Yeah, it's a good Sando. It's not the Bacavo, but it's a good Sando. Yeah, it's certainly not the deluxe with extra pickles, but, uh, the thing, I love about, my butt. the thing I love about super chicks, you guys is all of the veggies are hand cut in house onions, tomatoes, lettuce, their fries, which are awesome. Salt and pepper fries is the way I go. Cut daily in house. Their chicken breasts are always full breast. You're not getting thighs because they're cheaper. No, no, friends. You can get it grilled. You can get it breaded. It's awesome. It's Super Chicks on Riverdale Road in Ogden, also down in St. George. Make sure you tell me you heard about it on the Monty program. Um, let's see. MJ Bissett gives us 10 bucks to say enough on San Diego State. They're gold compared to SMU. I live in Dallas, and SMU isn't on a sports bars TV unless they are playing a P5 from the old Southwest Conference. No team to add for PAC to survive and thrive. That's a really good point, MJ. I think, yeah, I I honestly still maintain their best options, Tulane. Mm-hmm. So, DW2CB says, kiss my Bacavo. Kiss my butt! Greg Hawkins says, LOL, the SEC and Big Ten are taking flagship blue blood schools. Meanwhile, the Big 12 and Pac-12 are fighting over which G5s to add. That's what I'm saying. Truth. Oh, God. Uh, Edward Enriquez, Cincinnati was uh, most likely added as a travel partner for West Virginia, plus they're coming off the college football playoff appearance. Fickle leaving Hurts. Yeah, how's uh, the badges? Hey, uh, Fickle, how's Wisco treating you? Can you believe he rolled and then they get into the Big 12? it's not good immaculate says uh smu versus arkansas let's go right you know uh construction work you're wrong as usual mike maples the bacavo isn't wings from little caesars but it'll do (laughs) oh my god mike dude bro (laughs) i'm not doing this i am not i am not doing this yeah wings from little caesars are like san diego state dude come on it's bad enough you showed up at rsl the other night in a boston hat bad enough now wings it's come on <sighs> glenn right there look at, look at my boy glenn san diego state i've always <laughs> been patient we'll see how well episode 966 ages 